Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer. It, welcome back to more Let's Play Barnyard. It seems that we just got a text message from Eddie, which who is the leader of the Jersey Cows. He wants to meet us at the Dandelion Meadow. I'll show you guys where Dandelion Meadow is, real quick. Here's the map. This is the entire area of the game. And I'm gonna show you where the. Here's the Dandelion Meadow. Meadow, which is north of the barnyard. So, we're gonna head off there and go see what the Jersey Cows want. We're gonna take our bike there. And there's actually a really good reason that we need to bring our bike. Because we're actually gonna be using our bike in this mission. So, you probably know what I'm talking about. Let's bring cycle on over there. <laughs> Get it? Cycle on over there because we're riding a bicycle. So we're cycling over there. Oh, that's a bad one. Just like everybody else on YouTube, I'm a ter just terrible at puns. Alright, so here they are right here. This is probably the main place where they hang out during the day is at Dandelion Meadow. Just chat with Eddie. I'm Eddie. I'm Egg. I'm Bud. Yeah. Oh, you're so scary because you say yeah, unlike all the other, unlike the other two. Okay, hot shot. How about a little race? How about it? Yeah. We challenge you to a bike race around the farm. Oh, things get serious because he says bike race. Not a motorcycle race or anything else, it's badass. So are you game? Yeah, I'm game. Bring it on. So yeah, this is what we're using our bike for. It's a new bike race. You gotta beat the Jersey Cows to the finish line. And there is only one way you can beat them. You have to sprint in order to get past all of them. Then you have to maintain that sprint to stay in ahead of them. What the? Are you kidding me? Otis is hosting the races? Wow. Yeah, I just remembered that. Okay, so anyway, if you just cycle like this, you're gonna have a hard time getting ahead of Bud, who is always in last place. So you wanna sprint in order to get past him. Then you have to do the same get past the other two. Ig is always in, always behind Eddie, and Eddie is always either in first or second place. There's no. I think I just heard Bud say, "Oh yeah!" Like he's so badass, so scary. Ugh. But yeah, Ig past Ig here. Well, by the way, there are always either one or two laps in the races. They're one lap if the race is like really, really huge. It's two laps if it's this size. Wait, also, in the bike races, you'll run into these pe these peppers occasionally. They will completely refill your stamina so you can, so you can uh, sprint for a longer amount of time. They're really useful. You want to pick them up. They're usually accompanied by some coins. And yes, you do pick up gopher bucks during the races. So, and now we know what they're for, so we want to pick as many of them up as we can. <clears throat> okay, we're going to try something different here. Let's try to go across here. No! Please! Oh! Are you kidding me? That thing's almost impossible to make. Seriously. That jump is almost... It's gotta be impossible to j make that. I... I'm not... I'm serious, okay? It's... That jump has got to be impossible to make. It's got to be. I'm actually doing pretty good as far as gopher bucks go. Oh, there you go. Got the pepper again. Okay, there we go. First place. 
that went pretty well. We collected 37 gopher bucks. Good. Wait, you can still hear them? That's weird. You can still hear the bikes even after the race. After that screen comes out. Weird. Uh Oddly and oddly enough, the game teaches us how to ride the bike after the race. Okay, I admit it, you're fast. Eddie does that, does that thing that he always does the same animation every time he loses. Real fast, too fast. I hate sneezing on camera. I just hate sneezing. You guys didn't need to hear that. I'm gonna edit that out. Oopsie. Got a text from Pig and Pip. We're gonna do. We're gonna do Pig's mission first because, well, it's a numerical order, so it might as well. So Pig and Pip are both at the barnyard, and it, here's the deal, okay? Um, <laughs> Pip's mission. If we do Pip's mission, that's going to conclude Chapter 1 of the game. I am not kidding. We're already done with Chapter 1. Okay, here's another note here. The Gophers have installed Gold Rush machines all over the farm. Unfortunately, you need the Gold Rush tokens to use them. <clears throat> we got like... Let's see how many... Yeah, we got two Gold Rush tokens, so I'm going to show them to you guys in this episode also. Alright. Wait, there was no note back there, so let's get that too. There do not seem to be any animals offering you a mission during the day. Wait until nightfall. Yeah, we already... We already concluded that. Also, I do not know if I mentioned this before, but whenever you whenever you finish a game, you will Yeah, you have to get a get a D or better to to beat to fin to beat the mini game. And and not have to do it again. If you fail at if you lose a game, then you, a mini game, then you have to do it again in order to have the mission complete and move on to the next one. But if you get a D or better, then you basically you beat that game and it's gonna and it's gonna show up here as a floating star icon now if the floating if, if there's a circle around the the floating star icon then that means that that you got a star on that on that game at some point and you don't have to do it again if there isn't a circle around it then you did not get a star and you probably want to do that at least if you if you're like me then you then you're gonna redo that game to get a star. But anyways, let's do Pig's mission first. Because that's how the game intended us to do it. See there's no star there's no circle around uh mud jumper, so I have to do that again later. Let's do pig. Mm -hmm. Okay. No comment on that. What's up now, pig? Yeah, what's up now? First you wanted butter fresh from the cow. Is it that was disturbing enough? All the usual, I've been thinking about strawberries all day. Well, I guess it's better than what came from a cow. I can't get them out of my mind. I'm, I'm going crazy. Okay, pig, I know the drill. I, I'll get you some strawberries. You are the world's coolest cow. You can find them in the vegetable patch. Wait, aren't strawberries fruits? So yeah, a vegetable patch is... It's a very close... It's like right next to Dandelion Meadow. It's where the farmer farmer goes to, to grow vegetables. And apparently fruits as well, because he put it... Vet, he added strawberries in the mix, okay? How can you call it a vegetable patch if there are strawberries growing there? There's fruits growing there. It makes no sense. So 
So yeah, here it is, the vegetable patch. You just go left when you're heading to Dandelion Meadow. <coughs> so, so yeah, there's, uh, there's melons. Sorry, I had to press record again. There's melons, cabbages, pumpkins. I guess it's already Halloween. Carrots and strawberries. I think that's it. And Pig wants us to get three of them, so let's do that. See, so pick up, pick them up, then throw them in the inventory by pressing Y. In real life, that would just be throwing them up in the air, which would look weird. We're gonna go back to pig. And actually I think either this episode or the next episode, I'm not really sure. Most likely it's gonna be in the next episode. It's gonna be the last episode of chapter one. So be prepared for that. We are finally ending the first chapter of the game. I don't know how many chapters there are, it's probably eight chapters, just like there are in any other game that's divided into chapters. That's pretty much how most games are. There you are, thank goodness. Do you have three strawberries for me? Yes, but I do not have any butter for you, because that was just creepy. Fresh strawberries, they're nothing f there's nothing finer, except butter fresh from the cow. You're welcome, pig. Oh, pardon me. Oop, and another one. God, those are worse than my farts. Actually, my farts aren't that bad, but still. You guys don't need to hear them, okay? I'm not gonna... I always make sure not to fart during an episode, because that would just be weird. Um, so, there are... So, if we talk to Pip, then we're gonna do... Once we talk to Pip... Then that will start the last mission of chapter one. So, but I want to end things off in the next. I want to end this chapter off on the next episode. So instead, instead of talking to Pip, we're gonna do something else. We are gonna. Okay, now you had your fun. <laughs> okay, now you had your fun. Yeah, I definitely had him. Oh, that's right. Now I remember what I was going to do. I was going to show you guys the gopher, gold rush machine. Sorry. Not the gopher rush machine. That's just weird. So yeah, what you do is you press A near one. Insert the gold rush token. And there you go. You want to immediately start running. Follow the trail coins. There's different amounts of coins for, for each of the machines. Just stop there once again and press record. And this one takes you to the top of the barnyard above the 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 water tank. There you go, you get 50 gopher bucks from this gold rush machine, but there are others that give you a lot more go a lot more uh, gopher bucks. So definitely you want to use them often. Cause later on in the the game may not be giving you much gold rush machine, gold rush tokens right now. But you just wait till later. They're just gonna start handing them out to you like I don't know, no, like candy. Yeah, like candy. They're gonna start handing it off to you like candy. Okay, so we're gonna go into the barn now, and we're gonna and I'm gonna show you guys the the gold rush machine here. Hopefully, I can get all of them. I can get all the gopher bucks in this one. Okay. So we're going to press the switch here, which is in the form of an axe. I don't know why. It's going to drop the slider down. And then... Useless kicking to get some gopher bucks. And check out this gold rush token machine here. the heck? 
There's like this weird glitch. I can't hear. You can't hear the sound of sound of the cow steps on the wood. Strange. But yeah, I think this is the right trail. Okay, I hope I know I'm going. I hope I'm. I seriously hope I'm going the right way. I really hope I am. All you can hear is the. Wow, all you can hear is the freaking. Okay, now it wants me to go up here. Oh crap, 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 crap. Let's get them all. Quick, quick, quick. Ah! No! 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 40! 40 gopher bucks? That's not that much. Are you kidding me? Wow. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so we're going to leave the barn now, and then we're going to end things off here. So yeah, pretty much all we did in this episode is get two missions done. We we talked to Eddie and had a bike race with the Jersey Cows. Then we talked to Pig and got the three strawberries for him. And so, in the next episode, we're going to do some more things and do the last... Sorry, I had to do it again. Okay. In the next episode, we're going to do Pip's mission, but before that we'll probably do some other things, but then we'll do a Pip's mission, and that'll be the end of chapter one. Can't believe this chapter's already over. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching episode six of Let's Play Barnyard. I am Multicast Gamer, signing out with this epic camera angle.